This is Jessica Rivera for Bar Optic TV coming to you from the Fillmore for the 2008 Westward Menu Affair. Let's go inside and check it out. This is the Buckhorn Exchange restaurant. We're Denver's oldest restaurant. We're 115 years old. We're at 1000 Osage. And what would you say on your menu is probably the most you guys are known for? Uh, our game. We have great steaks, but buffalo and elk are wonderful. We serve yak and quail and rattlesnake, alligator tail, Colorado lamb. It's a, just, it's a great menu. The name of the restaurant is Faraday's Restaurant and Steakhouse in Black Hawk, Colorado. And what would you say is your most popular item on your menu? Uh, it would have to be our steaks. We have uh, certified Angus beef as well as prime beef on the menu. Lots of great sides, a la carte sides. Uh, great seafood like Australian lobster tails, fresh uh, catch of the day with all kinds of fresh seafood. Our restaurant is Jonesy's Eat Bar. We're located at the corner of 20th and Logan. And what would you say Jonesy's Eat Bar is known for? We're actually a gastropub, so we're known for great menu, great wine, and great beer, which is awesome. We have 25 Colorado beers, and I think our specialty is, is lamb sliders. Awesome. Can you explain what lamb sliders are? Shredded lamb that's been cooked for 12 hours with bacon, blue cheese, and caramelized onions on little buns. And I'm here from uh, representing Cook Street, School of Fine Cooking. Uh, and our uh, school uh, put out the rules and put out the secret ingredient for this uh, uh, competition this evening. And so I'm here judging and two of my students uh, helped tonight uh, as sous chefs uh, for each one of the teams. So. Uh, I was one of the judges tonight and had a blast. We had a good time and the, it was really, really close. So, um, If you can go ahead and I guess give me your opinion on how the whole contest ran this evening. Well, uh, two years ago I was one of the chefs in it and I happened to win it. Last year I was the MC, so this year I was a judge, so it's fun to see the complete circle of uh, different environments, but it was a lot of fun to see these two chefs, Goose and James, go up against each other in an environment that you're not used to, products that you're not used to, uh, different cooking utilities that definitely aren't as adequate as your kitchen, but they did a phenomenal job. And with the winning dish, what? What, ma what made you choose that specific dish this evening? Well, I think it was a combination of how they dealt with uh, chorizo in context with what they, each one of the dishes. Uh, I looked for creativity, obviously, and how they presented, how tight the plates were. Uh, were they going for cliche? Uh, but if they were, I'd give them high points on taste, if their taste was good. Um, but uh, there was a couple dishes that uh, looked more presentable and also taste well. So it's really all about that that dish that marks it on all points, and that's a uh, that's a difficult thing to achieve, but I, especially in that uh, 45 minute time period. But they did really well. Um, what were your ingredients? What was the challenge this evening? Uh, we had chorizo, which was the main ingredient, and the the real challenge was the pantry. The pantry was probably something that you would just find in an average household with the beans and the canned tomatoes and a lot of dry ingredients. So it was okay. What will cook quickly? <laughs> and, and and you know it's. It's stuff I'm not used to because you know we get we try to get the freshest ingredients, and so our palette of ingredients is a little different. So that was the challenge was how I like I, I don't know nobody really noticed but I was kind of wide eyed I, I was like there's canned beans and tomatoes like uh oh. Skytano's restaurant, the corner of 38th and Tejon in North Denver. And what would you say your restaurant is most known for? What's your most popular item on your menu? We've got the sausage and peppers here tonight, which is obviously our most popular item. It's a, it's a landmark item and a landmark restaurant. It's old school. Skytano's has been in the same location since 1947. It's a former mafia hangout. Ma ma was mob owned. You know, we kept we tried to keep preserve all of that history along with kind of updating the menu and making it. Uh, um, we are D-Bar Desserts and we're located at 1475 East 17th Avenue in between Humboldt and Franklin. What dessert would be the most popular on the menu? Um, truthfully, our most popular dessert on the menu is our Cake and Shake, which is a triple layer chocolate cake uh, that was actually a recipe from the, one of the grandmothers of the owners. And you get a chocolate or a vanilla milkshake or malt with that. Mercy on me.
Once I got desperate, that's when you really 